So we're back another day. We're gonna take off the wire harness right now and the fuel rail from this one. For now, uh, let me see what else do I need. I need the power steering pulley right there. Um, well, it's not, it's just the pulley where the power steering is, it's not power steering pulley. So I am gonna need that one. Um, and that's it for now. injectors out and the fuel rail we do have to replace those injectors with the two zz ones um those are size 12 straight here two bolts that's all it takes seems like i do have to take out the intake manifold because i'm taking off the wire harness and there is like two plugs down there that i can reach one of them i think is a knock sensor and which is that one right there and there's another one back there um so intake manifold has to come off um but everything the injector is already taken off the alternator over here is already taken off and the compressor of course the compressor's over there um coil packs since you don't have that power steering pump, you don't have that extra wire over there on this one. Um, so, gotta plug up, unplug all these ones right here, and then wire harness should come off. Um, and I still need the starter, and uh, so I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> so there it is that this knock sensor was pain being the one i couldn't get and this one the crankshaft sensor right here um and it just has a bunch of 12s 12 right here 12 right here 12 nut right here, 12 nut right here, 12 right there. And then you got one last one down here, um, right there, that one, size 12. So just gotta disconnect the starter from this one and this wire harness should come off already. Most of the sensors are over here already, which is just probably the transmission, the speed sensor. And that's it, this wire harness should come off um sh mm, i'm trying to see what else i'm gonna need probably some hoses and yeah so wire harness is already out it's over there uh, I'm gonna do the pulley next. I know I need that pulley. So, pretty easy. Size 12 should come off. So, now we're gonna take off this shift linkage. Um, Cause on the Celica, it's on the other side. So, I'm just gonna remove these four teams right here. There's two right there two right there also and then i'm gonna take this one right here that's a 12 and then i have to uh take that pin out so i'm gonna hammer it out so that's what i'm gonna do real quick So we 
managed to take it off. I was struggling a little bit. Marky did it. He Threw some PB Blaster. Helped out a lot. Mark is actually going to start doing the lift bolts on that 2ZZ motor. Um, I'll start doing transferring this onto the other one and swapping it to this side because we do have to swap it over here. So on this one, we're going to swap from this side to that side. The so, linkage. yeah, the linkage. So we have to take out that 12 right here, pop it out like the other one, and then take out these 14s right here, and then these four 14s right here, and then pull out the shaft right now. See how it goes. <laughs> So there it is. This is the C60. This is the one from MWR, which you can get. He also got me this, so I don't have to use the one off the uh, MRS. So basically, I'm just gonna use the shifting linkage. Um, so on this one, it does have a spring and a little washer on here which is right there um for these you do have to pry them out again um use a small little screwdriver or a drill bit that's probably what i'm going to use right now then we do have to take off this little guy right here to take off this spring on this side um so that's what i'm going to do real quick and then transfer everything over there then there's something else we gotta do on the transmission which i'll show you guys once i get this done so there they are the pins are out uh, i didn't record because it was shaking too much while we're hitting it um but i was able to use this uh phillips perfect size um so now i just gotta transfer this to over there and put the springs on put the shifter linkage from the MRS and it should be good to go. Putting this MWR, this guy's still doing the lift bolts. Make sure the notch is down on this one, and then these two prongs have to go down because this could go either way. It could go 180 on this side or the way it's supposed to be this way. So, yeah, be careful that these two notches are down, and then this one is down right here because that's where you're gonna put the shifting the shift linkage so the last thing i gotta do on this side is actually take this little copper out and then we gotta push in that little shaft in 10 millimeters so like i said uh that has to come off and then with your old shaft you gotta push this right here 10 millimeters in um so yeah just use your old set shaft you're not gonna use it anymore So Marky Mark already took off the cams off of this. We're gonna push and the OCV valve. He's gonna push the rod through there and get the lift bolt on the other side. Push it. 
And Reggie, I'll go ahead and clean your filter for you too. And right I already pushed it to one millimeter in there. Now, all I gotta do is put everything huh. back together. Ooh. And. Dirty. Clean it. Now put it back in like that. Put it back together um, oh, and oh. put the end cap on this oh, side. Oh. So, I guess we're extracting it out. Didn't work that way because it's actually broken off part in, like, I don't know how to explain it. It broke Basically, off. The broke, uh, um, bolt broke at like a 45 angle. So the reason the lift still worked, it still was able to hold the cam in place. But, not the cam, the fucking rod. But yeah. Yay! So there it is, stupid lift bolt, time to put it back together.